we start them off a little bit of art history, kind of teaching them about different artists, uh, different mediums that they've painted in. Also looking at things like the supports that they use, whether it's canvases, it's paper, it's boards. I want them to think about painting as in textures rather than about a finished product. I want them to learn how to use the materials. We're using oils, we're using gouache, there's a bit of watercolour and acrylics. We're doing a piece, I guess, inspired by dreams. Um, I don't really know what mine is. It like is things that I've seen in Ireland, mostly. So yeah, I did like a rainbow and some cows because there's cows everywhere. There's like very different people here. Yeah, we're all very unique in our own ways and I love it. And honestly, we all get along very well. It's like a big family. We all have dinner together. We enjoy each other's company. And we've been here for about five and a half weeks now and we've done a bunch of different types of art. Um, I've loved it so far, um, especially just being in Ireland. All of the greenery is amazing and all of the teachers have taught a lot of different really cool things. Especially because like, we've done a lot of like landscapes and stuff in charcoal. Being in Ireland is crazy inspiring because it's just like such a different climate to where I'm from. I've learned a couple different techniques, worked with some different mediums while I've been here, so that's been really interesting as well. The course has been great, honestly. I've, I've, I've loved it a lot and it's been a honestly my the like doing like the workshops and stuff have been like my favorite part of this whole experience um i've i've loved like coming in and like getting to like work with new materials that i've like never even heard of before and also just like figuring things out and like watching myself improve has been a lot of fun i really want them to be a little bit experimental and not to be thinking about painting like photographs and being too realistic. I want them to look very painterly, maybe even slightly abstract. That's what I'm hoping that they'll achieve and really push themselves outside of their comfort zone when it comes to painting. So they have these beautiful drawing classes with Michael where they're almost um, recreating what they're seeing in charcoal, whereas with the painting, I'm kind of hoping that they're kind of going outside the box of uh, realism and really starting to create and think about things through colour and texture. Drawing is very often about how we see things and how we interpret information. So the lessons are quite basic in that sense. They start off from a very simple premise and then move into slightly more complicated themes like landscape, composition, proportions, perspective. And then with portraiture, obviously it's the features and the tonal values and all of this. Uh, we have two workshops a day when we do have workshops and those are three hours. Um, ish and then with lunch in between that ends up being like a seven hour day but then we have you know the rest of the time to do whatever we want essentially and then on when we go out to do things where we always have time to like explore and sort of do things at our own pace well you always have one or two who have clearly made work before and used charcoal before and are already talented depending on the type of school they go to I have one student at the moment who went to a Steiner school, which is a particular type of very open-minded school, and she's been drawing all her life, and she's clearly very, very talented. But you have other people then who've never touched charcoal, never even thought about expressing themselves, and yet charcoal is a very versatile medium, so it's quite easy to push somebody and get involved in it. It's, it's an awful lot of fun. The idea around the classes is that it'd be fun but that we're learning to look and learning about the medium. So it's pretty straightforward.